Welcome back to What's New. Tomorrow morning, Lolly the Trolley will make their way to Florida. Early retirement, kind of. Mm -hmm. They were a staple across Cleveland for almost 40 years, Betsy. That's right. A lot of memories have been made on those trolleys. And our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney, spoke to a couple who was one of the first riders on that trolley. Stephanie, how did they feel about this announcement? I imagine bittersweet, right? Mm. Oh, Jay, Betsy, they shared so many great memories. You know, when we were reaching out and letting people know we wanted to hear their thoughts about Lolly the Trolley before it goes on their way, Diane Kovac commented on the 3 News Now feed from yesterday, and she said that they were one of the very first couples to ride after things opened up, and they shared a very sweet memory with me. I'll let you hear it now. This is about a year after we got married, and uh, we were at the time living in Urbana, Illinois. We come home to visit. And we came back home to Lorraine, basically underfoot. And my mom had seen, I think it was an ad in the Lorraine Journal. I think it was in the newspaper. Um, and she got us tickets on, <laughs> on, the, on the trolley. It was my first time in Cleveland. We were, I was really um, kind of stunned by the lake. Um, the way that um, it just feels like Cleveland just sort of drops off a cliff and then there's the lake. It doesn't. It's not the same anymore because all the museums are down there now, but they weren't there back right. then. And it was like, also, um, I was freezing my tuchus off because <laughs> that <Right>. wind was <laughs> uncut. So we were right. cuddling a lot there in the... <laughs> So it was it was a good day after that. I, I was proudly saying I'd married into Ohio. <laughs> she obviously had a great time. They had such a great time that they came back in 1994 by themselves. And then again in 2014, obviously a lot of repeat customers here on Lolly the Trolley. That's just one story from one of the first couples to ride the trolley. And who better to give us more stories than the drivers of the trolley. And I've got one with me right now. I've got Marianne Campbell. Marianne, can you share your favorite story from driving the trolley? I had wonderful stories, but this is my favorite. Uh, back in 1994, when Gundarina was first built, uh, Gordon Gunn was very responsible for that building and wanted to bring his staff from New Jersey, his company. He flew them in from New Jersey down to Burke Lakefront Airport. And then I drove down to Lakefront and took these people on a tour of the city. What did he think of that tour? He said it was the most wonderful tour he's ever taken because He's blind, and he saw nothing of that tour. <laughs> but you painted a beautiful picture. Thank you for sharing that story with us, Marianne. You know, we have so many drivers on here, so we're going to get another one. Next up, we've got Martha Krozniak. She's going to share a story with us. Martha, tell us your story. We have always had travelers from around the world, and one of my favorite times was a group of teachers that were from a Middle Eastern country for some kind of a program, and they were so excited at the beauty of the city, and especially coming down the uh, Martin Luther King Drive and along the um, uh, cultural gardens, and they wanted me to stop, but I couldn't. But when we got out at the uh, Rockefeller Greenhouse, they just about rolled in the grass. It was so lush and so beautiful. And I thought, if they love that, wait till they see Lake Erie. Wait till they see that Lake Erie. Thank you so much. And she showed so many people all of the beauty that Cleveland has to offer. Obviously a great experience. We've got one more story coming from one of the owners herself. We got Cheryl Witt right here. Cheryl, share us your favorite story. One of the oddest ones was a birthday party we did where uh, we were supposed to pick up the birthday boy and take he and, and his friends out, and uh, they decided to turn it into a kidnapping. And uh, so some of the people who were part of the birthday party put, you know, coverings over their faces, and they stormed the trolley to get the birthday boy. Unfortunately, there was a police car going by. Oh, no! And it got a little out of hand, and they had to try and explain what they were really doing. <laughs> so that was that was a birthday party a little out of hand. Mm, a little out of hand, but obviously a great experience. So many stories from Lolly the Trolley. We couldn't possibly hear all of them. A trolley full of stories, if you will. Jay Betsy, it's an icon. And it's, it's leaving Cleveland, but we're happy to be here to send it off in a fond farewell. Yeah, it's sad. Hopefully Pro they're writing all these stories down. It'd be an epic book. Yeah, it would be a really cool book. Um, th thank you for doing that, Steph. I thought that was was really cool sharing a couple of stories from the trolley. I'm sure there are the hundreds, thousands more, and uh, the end of an era. It's yeah. sad to see. Really yes. is sad to see. Love those stories, though.